Howdy folks. So I was, I'm one of those uh, douchebaggy type people who ended up buying one of these GG buttons because uh, these things I think are just fucking hilarious. Uh, anyway, uh, I found this. Uh, I thought I'd lost this. Um, and it still had batteries in it, so I went to turn it on. It, it doesn't work properly anymore, which is kind of unfortunate. And I think the batteries are just low, but uh, I think that's kind of weird. I think what's happening is it's browning out, and the whatever, like, uh, in micro, con micro, I don't even know if it's really a microcontroller, um, is brown, it's browning out, and it's resetting, and uh, that's why if you, if you leave it for, you know, a few seconds, it'll get a little bit further into the sound clip before resetting. These are dollar store nickel cadmium batteries that I bought uh, a long time ago. Look at that, 300 milliamp hours, oh man. So much capacity. These things have pro probably been in here for years. Yeah. Disappointing, but also hilarious. Out of curiosity. I wonder, uh, wonder how they did this, because uh, I know they had, I think, two production runs of this. I got this on the second production run, so I wonder if this is uh, like just uh, an E squared prom and some sort of audio chip, or maybe it's actually uh, like a custom ASIC or like a mask ROM. Uh, I could assume if they sold enough of them, a mask ROM would make sense. Uh, it could even be like a like a chip on board, like a cob. I'm just kind of I'm just kind of wondering what's actually in this. Out of curiosity. Okay, so it's not a cob. Uh, it actually is. Um, uh, an SMD part. So we have a very big button. VSS, VDD. Pretty, pretty big speaker. Okay. So these are the springs that go to the, uh, go to the button. Is that to uh, prevent? Yeah, it actually has, uh, it actually prevents it from rotating, that's nice. They're sticking to the magnet. Yeah, that's why these, these two springs won't leave because they're, they're stuck to the, uh, the, the magnet there. So, U3... So all that's in here is U3 and there's a tiny C1 here, which... Uh, is just a just couples uh, VSS to VDD, and there's a switch, and that's it. There is uh, no other components. It's a single-sided board. Uh, I wonder if there's any uh, part numbers on that chip. It may just be a generic one hung low Chinese chip with no markings. Yeah, that's got absolutely no markings whatsoever on it. Too bad it doesn't work. I just, I just seriously don't have any batteries. Um, I just, I don't have any, uh, any batteries. I found this while looking for something to pillage some AA batteries out of. So, uh, anyway, super random video. Thanks for watching.